afternoon we are on Wednesday the 7th of September 2022 it is 16.43 so that's an almost quarter to 5 p.m. I'm going to be sharing with you uh, daily meditations with the Holy Spirit I'll begin with one or two small prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Angel of God my guardian dear to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. An act of contrition. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. The Jesus prayer is the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator, come. Veni, Creator. Come take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the Paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones, to speak and understand. O oh, guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength, which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe. Beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know. Through thee the eternal Son. And thee the Spirit of them both. Thrice blessed three in one. All glory to the Father be. With his co-equal Son. The same to thee great Paraclete. While endless ages run. Veni Sancti Spiritus. Come, O Creator Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O fount of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Our senses kindle from above and make our hearts overflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Drive far from us the foe we dread and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside? O oh, may thy grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to know and thee through endless times confessed of both eternal spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run be to the Father and the Son who rose from death the same to thee O Holy Ghost, eternally. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, Grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise 
and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The meditation for today is taken from 1 Corinthians 2, verse 13. We speak of these things in words taught to us, not by human wisdom, but by the Spirit expressing spiritual things in spiritual words. The Reflection Science and other forms of human knowledge can lead us only so far when we speak about spiritual things. God's ways are mysterious and beyond our understanding. Yet, through revelation, we do have spiritual words and concepts that can lead us in the right direction in order to delve into the mysteries of our faith. So the prayer for today, 7th of September, 2022. May my thoughts be spiritual, Holy Spirit of God, and not mired in what is worldly. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And please pray for my spiritual child in Australia, Deborah. She's facing a really rough time. The work is just not there in the area where she lives. The transplant is, is hardly going to help because they have to get taxis everywhere because there's only a maybe a bus an hour or so but her phone bill's in two weeks she can't pay it and the, the electric bill the fa oh, and the landlord that hasn't done repairs on her home for 20 years i've seen pictures and and the previous tenants they told her when she was moving in that he hadn't done any for them but it isn't easy in in queensland where they are to find alternative accommodation they've had bad weather and all sorts of terrible time this year governmental people are no help they don't have job centers there near her like they do here in the uk they don't get any help there's not the kind of work that she can do she doesn't have a car or anything like that she, she couldn't afford one but um so she couldn't do care work because you need certificates and qualifications She's good at shop work and things like that. And she's worked in big shops. But they probably think at her age she should retire. But she's not quite retirement age. I don't know what their age is in, in Australia. But she next year she will be retirement age. And they don't, they, they're employing youngsters in these companies that don't know, have the knowledge that she's got, they'd be better off employing someone like her. She's fit, or she's got this guinea pigs, bless her, <laughs> and two cat, what, um, stray cats, mother and daughter cat. <laughs> oh. So please pray for her, that she can find work, that she's searching, but it isn't easy. She needs the phone to search, and it's just hopeless every day she's up on this application I mean what a way to have to find work with a phone it's not good there's no help there they're too communistic now they don't care about people anyway please pray for her I would like you all to pray for her so that she has that miracle you know it's it's awful when you're on your own and you've got no one God bless you thank you for listening peace and Prayers.